So we have him going in and out of these lanes right here. Viewer discretion heavily advised. Just never know what's going to happen here, but we're hoping for the very best for all the commuters out there that, uh, you know, a lot of the times they don't know a chase is happening until the car just flies right by them, and hopefully it flies by them because you don't want to be get, getting hit by one of these as well. So we're waiting to see here for the very latest of what's going to happen. We've already seen that the suspect is reckless. We don't know why the reason is that he is not stopping. So many times they know they're eventually going to get caught, but they continue to go on because they want to try those last couple of moments of freedom, try to extend it out as best as they can. We are learning here a possible carjacking suspect here. That is the reason why police continue to pursue right here. The traffic's not going to get any better. It's, if anything, it's going to get worse there as rush hour continuing to go here. You can see high rates of speed here. And from this area, it doesn't. It looks like maybe that police are only following from the air at this moment we it's hard to say because they weren't zoomed out too much but it didn't seem like there was too many police cars behind the suspect and really they don't want to scare him and then cause a major major accident on the freeway okay the suspect getting off there you could see right there at Thornton and let's see what's going to happen next here bus in the way oh Almost trying to. Okay, there we go. Your discretion. He is heavily advised during these times here, going in a parking lot now. What we're hoping for is that this doesn't happen, where they get off and try to get another car. We've seen that sometimes too in the past, especially when it is a carjacking suspect that did it once. They don't mind doing it again. But now we are on residential roadways here off the expressway. And we'll see just how this all unfolds here, but you are watching right here on fox10phoenix.com. We do appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. This is a what they're calling a black Lexus crossover car that police are pursuing right now latest information was that the carjacking suspects <laughs> we are learning right now the Dallas Police Department ground units are killing all lights and sirens here but they are pursuing also from the skies as sky foxes too Now you got to wonder too, maybe the suspect got off the expressway because the traffic was continuing uh, to look like it was getting backed up there. Rush hour in full effect there in Texas. Right now we're seeing speeds ranging now during this pursuit from 50 to 90 miles per hour topping off on the expressway there. You just never know what's going to happen sometimes in these situations. That why, that's why we always ask you. We know if you're coming in the beginning, the middle, you always stay till the very end. We always understand that, and we do appreciate that. And after this chase concludes, we will get you back out to that Mueller investigation report. House committee all all way underway. Okay, we got the suspect stopping right here. I don't know if they, they maybe thought, hey, we could go in the wooded area. But they may be looking for a place to ditch this. Now doing a UE. They may say, let's try our luck in the woods here. Because as you can see right here, it looks like maybe police are only following from the air. Okay, yep, exactly. I called it. Didn't I call it? Looking for a place to ditch. There you go. We got two suspects. They are making a run for it right now, leaving the car. 
Well, I was right on point on that one. Called it maybe within seconds. Went right for the wooded area here. So let's see how police respond to this now. Just watching here. We do appreciate you. As these carjacking suspects just got out of the car. And now they're trying to hide right now in this woods. It looks like we have police coming now to the scene here. We still see them right here. We see, see them right by the tracks. They are now running on the tracks here. Shouldn't be long before we get a takedown. This is one of the suspects. We don't know where the other one, maybe the other one decided doesn't want to run. Already giving up on running here. Right, we got the other guy coming in the back here. Police following. Taking a jacket off like that's going to help running. If anything, he doesn't blend in as much now. Oh, no. Okay. Hoping for the very best for this officer here. Stay safe, officer. Just joining us here, we're, uh, about a couple of minutes ago, the suspects ditched the vehicle started making a run for it by these tracks in this wooded area here in Dallas, Texas. You can see a subdivision here. So you don't want them to, okay, here's one of them. Here's one of them. You don't want them to try to get another, get in another car here. That's exactly what you don't want to happen. Especially, you don't know, can they still have a weapon? We have another police car cruising coming here. He came out of nowhere. Hard to see here with this, uh, these trees. Let's see. Little subdivision here. All right, and then it looks like they got the one suspect in custody right here. Great job by police. Great job. Let's see if they can find that other one now. Probably won't be hard. They didn't seem like they had a lot of, a lot of energy. And they got the other guys. So it's a twofer. Two for one special in Dallas, and they were able to get two of these suspects here. They'll be going to jail. Looks like everyone stayed safe from the police standpoint there as well. So they got their two suspects detained.